What's up, guys? Happy Saturday. Zach and Chris here. Hi. We're uh, we're cruising down south today. If you guys remember, I bought the Lizard King semi. Um, I uh, I found out that it's actually named Edgar, like the the band dude. Um, but I wasn't able to get the title in my name for it. I tried, and it turned out that uh, there was a duplicate made. So I reached back out to the family, and very sad, but the guy I bought it from and his brother that owned, like, did all the racing stuff, they both passed away in November. So I've been talking with the widow back and forth, trying to get a title, haven't succeeded there. But she invited me to the celebration of life, and there's gonna be lots of race car people. We're actually on our way to PPIR right now to go do a lap, and uh, I got Zach to tag along with me. Also Roger, but Roger wanted to drive his own car. And <laughs> he didn't want to ride in the lap of luxury of the yeah. E28. All right, we had a camera failure, we're back. We got, we got Roger in his E46 M3, he's chilling. We'll do some sweet camera zooming, watch this. We go, oh, uh, there's three times, bam. There's 10 times, check out that roller. Actually, that looks like fairly good. Anyway. We're cruising down, we're in Zach's E28 M5, it's cool. I'm loving it. And yeah, we're gonna we're going to PPIR. I'll take you guys around, we'll look at cool cars, we'll see if we can record some stories. We missed the uh, the original celebration of life this morning that was at the church part. I'm not gonna lie, that felt a little weird because I didn't really know these people all that well. Uh, but we're going to this and there's like an open mic for race car stories and drinking at a bar afterwards. So I think we're definitely gonna go to that. So. We're also going to see if Zach will do a burnout. Oh, definitely. They're spreading the ashes on the track, and they want us to drive over the ashes and do burnouts and that kind of stuff. Oh, so sick. It's going to be cool. Well, we made it to the racetrack, and uh, predictably, we're, we're, the, we're the first ones. So we got Zach doing stores. You got Roger. How was the drive, Roger? Uh, it was pretty fast. Was it? Oh, yeah. I liked it. There was a... Uh, there was a Ram TRX that that <laughs> wanted to keep up with Zach, and Zach's like, "I wonder how fast he'll go." And uh, not we, very. We got answer. to the, we got to the point. This trim decided to try and leave the car. I'm not going to pull it off again, but because Zach installed, you know, a shitty roof rack on his M5. Hey, <laughs> good roof rack. It it held it clamped on, so it didn't go oh, anywhere. Wow. So That's it just on its way to falling off. But, Good. <laughs> but yeah, we got two black M BMWs. I'd like to point out nothing fell off of my car. Nothing fell off of this car. Nothing it almost did. Car. No, I caught it. The okay. trim was self-escaping, but we put it back on mid no, We had to pull over. We were co-pilots. Yeah. Oh, we have a friend. We're going to listen to what they have to say. So we're sitting here on Pitt Road. There's lots of people. We helped put some flags on a carbon wing with yeah. scotch tape it's on a car for it's gonna be our pace car um it's kind of weird you know because this is like kind of like a funeral but um there's a lot of really cool people here yeah uh, roger met a dude that did the original cannonball the cannonball and the uh one lap of america with brock yates did it with john harrison i mean i, I, I can't wait to ask this guy out to dinner <laughs> roger got his phone number i did i got his number um the light's probably really horrible for you guys pointing right at the sun but, but we're about to do a lap, so these are all the people. I feel a little weird recording. Yeah, but. these guys are really cool, though. They're super they're cool. They're really cool. I've learned more about them. They're really amazing people. You yeah. gotta respect the men that made this possible for yeah. people like us. Yeah, because yeah, it's exactly. super open yeah. to us. You know, they've just done amazing things, and you're starting to learn about it all. Yeah. yeah. Slow on this track. We're on the track. We're on the track. We're chilling. This is pretty cool. This is cool. If I, if, Maybe I should have talked, but I was like, maybe if I would die, this is how I would want everyone to celebrate my life. Yeah. This is the drive on the track. I'm very much the same. And don't bury me. I mean, my wife knows this, but if somehow she's not involved, like, don't bury me. Spread me somewhere cool. I do burnouts on my ashes. Yeah, celebrate my life. So, this is super cool. I'm just glad to be invited to this. Like, yeah, I, these no, people, it's... like, I met these people twice, and... And they've all nothing welcomed me in. Like, I got hugs by the widow today. Like, nothing but nice people. Yeah, they're awesome. 
There's gonna be some sweet stories later from you people. Hopefully we can share some of them from you firsthand, not just us retelling them. Yeah. I feel like we're gonna hear some cool shit today. Chris was really thirsty for the burnout, but I was like, I didn't have the balls. Like, man, do you want to be the guy who just does the burnout at somebody's special day? Yeah, no, it was like, good. I didn't want to be that guy. This hill climb car though is pretty sick. We're already meeting some really yeah. influential people in racing. So. Yeah, pretty wild. All right. So we're back in the E28 M5. So Greg Tracy, it was his name, was into Zach's car. Yeah, which so makes, uh, makes me happy. We're gonna hang with him in the M5. But yeah, so we looked him up and yeah, he's like famous motorcycle rider up Pikes Peak. And yeah. not only that, he's the kind of famous guy who sees this E20 yeah, M5. Which is just like a like beat up real car. casual, like comes and looks at yeah. it. Like he's one of us. This is not a bullshit yeah. guy. Yeah. And he scoped it from the side and then he walked <laughs> around it and then and like hung out on the wall, like yeah. acting casual. And to make sure it was an M5, yeah. Ben came over and talked <laughs> yeah, about it. Yeah, he was like, is this fake or real? <laughs> so, good deal. Oh. But, yeah, this is cool. This is a good time. This yeah. is a good time. There's an Audi on some really bad wheels. The tire We're not going to mention low. that. The tire looks pretty low. Yeah, my favorite was his saying, are you having fun yet? Like, yeah. That's the coolest thing you can 
say. And when I bought the Lizard King, the semi, he called me, and I was about halfway back to Denver, and that was the first thing he said was like, "Are you having I'm fun yet?" Like, and that's, that's just awesome. that's sick. That's awesome. That's I the best that. way. Not like, not like, how you doing? How's it going? Yeah. Just be like, are you having fun yet? Are you having fun yet? That's that's race car shit. Apparently, Zach bought a bus. I bought a bus, apparently. It's a double decker I've never even seen the bus. His name is Cody Lang. I know Cody Lang. Yeah, where is he? Is he here? Yeah, it's one of these. So, this is his friend. <laughs> oh, I feel like I know a Cody. Apparently, I'm buying a bus. <laughs> I told him he could store it for free. Yeah. Alright guys. Um Chris from the future here. So this little intermission here. Um we didn't record all that much when we were at the bar uh, listening to everybody's stories. I just didn't wanna a lot of older people. I just wanna just like shove cameras in everybody's faces, especially most of them I never met before. Um but it was just awesome listening to all those stories. And like they were crew chiefs in like the 1995 Indy 500. They've been up the peak um, as crew members and built cars for the peak for like 20 something years. Like they're just, and they won. Like everything they did, they won. They were just amazing car guys. Um, great people, no egos, just awesome people. And all their family and friends were awesome. There was a, uh, but Greg Tracy, the motorcycle guy, and then well, Paul Dollenbach. Sorry, uh, if you guys know NASCAR driver uh, Wally Dollenbach, Paul Dollenbach was his brother. And he did all the Pikes Peak stuff, and it was just it was super cool hanging out with all those people. Met some good friends, exchanged lots of contacts. So, wow. That's all I can say. Um, Zach drove me down, obviously. And then I got a little tuned up. Roger drove me home, uh, but we decided on our way back that we would go to the shop and we would uh, we would do some burnouts. For, uh, for Dave and Bud. So, our own little celebration of life. And uh, here you go. Drifting tomorrow. Look at this fucking thing. <laughs> Look at this. 
bumper off the car. Where's the tire? And it's kind of a little overheating at this point. Oh shit! <laughs> Where's the tire? <laughs> Chris, if I owe you some money, it was worth every penny. I just want to take a drifting tomorrow. <laughs> it's a little toasty. I recorded it. <laughs> oh, we're still recording. I did. I never. I never stopped it. It was recording the whole time. <laughs> so, so if drifting sucks tomorrow, um, Roger happened. <laughs> so we got a flat tire. We we're gonna run that. He kind of killed the bumper. That kind of fell off. He, he exploded the bumper somehow. Wait, what did I do? Yes. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> you let this happen? Alright, should I do a burnout in my M3 or what? It doesn't do burnouts. That's Bro. why we did this. Bro. <laughs> yep. Chris, I would like for this to be a DVO thing. Alright? Come on. Alright. If you're going fast enough in reverse and then drop it in first, you can probably get her started. Nah, we're gonna check this out, all right? I want to normalize verts, all right? <laughs> check this out, all right? Now, I'm not saying- This is a I'm, flex, this shit works. I'm not saying I'm a sex pot, but you might enjoy what's about to happen. Maybe not quite as much as that. <laughs> How did I fucking pull the bumper off? The tire exploded and it broke the mount. That was my fault. <laughs> but I told you, if, if I fucking destroy your tires, I'll be <laughs> So, reverse is not good, huh? No, it breaks dip mounts. But, but like, roll this speed, put it in neutral, and then as you're rolling the speed, dump it in first, fully revved. You slow. No, no, you got to 
gotta be going faster in reverse. In reverse. You can't hit the brakes. <laughs> Alright, Roger. Hold on. Hold on. I, I think. So go up there. So go wait, up to that on. car. Back up. At like but 10 I, miles an hour. As a representative of E46s, are, is the conclusion that E34s are better? Substantially better. Substantially, because <laughs> I just fucking... You like, grabbed second a bunch of times. I may have, I don't remember. You grabbed second a few but times. Like, I'm trying to do burnouts in this car. You don't do it. And it's not working out. So, the move is, go up there, put it in reverse, roll backwards at say 10 miles an hour, Okay. floor it, Okay. In neutral, okay. or in first with the clutch in, okay. and then slam it while you're rolling backwards. Faster than that. Faster than that. That'll work, that'll work. There you go. First, slam it. So Roger, but while you're doing that, you got to be on the brakes. That's your burnout moment. Why can't I do standing burnouts? Because your brakes are too big. Brakes are too big. You have too much brake force. I wish tires aren't so new anymore. Why didn't they tell me it went in my eye? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say, if you're trying to do shit like what we're doing right here, you buy general tires because they're cheap as shit and they're a lot of fun and you go ahead and do what Chris and I just did. She's a little angry sounding. Why is it so loud right now? Because she's hot, your AC fan's on. my AC fan is on? Yeah, that's what that is. I don't think that's what it is. It's the auxiliary fan. It's the electric fan in the front. I don't think that's what it is. It's totally what it is. No, it might be what it is, but I think this car can shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the man. brakes, man. Why did you do so better than last time? You got lucky. I was going faster than that Roger. So they're hot now, so now they're grippy. Uh, now it's going to be harder. Yo. I love the 46 m 3s these are really, really wonderful cars. They're not burnout cars. If you want to do hood rat shit, <laughs> you buy an E34. With a V8. Any of them. And a 6 speed. A 535 would do the a same. A 535's do good too. But man, oh man, are these a lot of fun, huh? <laughs> huh, can I, uh... Are my tires okay? Yeah, those are fine. I didn't pop them. Right? No, you're good. I got the tire rack warranty. You got more than half life still. Half? More than half. So am I going drifting tomorrow? Not in this. But you can drive that. Or the 540. I'll drive my Charger, thank you. you very much. There you go. And I'll smoke all the rest of you. Huh? Nice it. Race car. Yeah. Something like that. You going home? Uh, I'm going to do more for now. <laughs> <laughs>
is that? Why, why is this so difficult? Brakes. Where's the water? There's a little bit right here. There's a little bit right here, so why don't I try that, huh? Coming, but if they were gonna come, this is the time. Huh. So, a lot of us, we love BMWs. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is that, Kyle? 